Hey, this is YBR with BMG Drive, and today we're going to look at 12 cars or so in one video. Now that sounds intense, doesn't it? Well, it's okay, because it's actually 12 variations on a single vehicle. It's one mod that does all that. And if you remember a while ago, I did like a, a truck mod where it had so many things, and the most memorable thing is probably the super truck, which was about the size of a small school bus. And um, it's made by the same guy. And it's in the same style, where it's a ton of mods on one vehicle. So this one's all based around the Bruckle Moonhawk, and we're just going to go through the list of the cars... And as you see, there's a ton of them. Some of them are just the normal everyday Moonhawk you would normally see. Like some, like this one, for example, is just a normal stock Moonhawk. But then, uh, most of them aren't. Like the Cross, for example, is like apocalyptic, or uh, apocalypse-style Moonhawk, you know? It's like, what do you need in a, a vehicle that's surviving the apocalypse? Well, you don't need doors, fenders, uh, glass, you know, all those pesky little things like that. Uh, you just have a roll cage, an engine, four wheels, and some suspension setup, and a chair, and a steering wheel, and that's all you need, that you're good to go, man. And that's what I think this, this vehicle's for, at least. That's what I imagine it for. It's like an apocalypse vehicle. This is what you're going to use to survive. And I, I love the, um, the engine right there. It's like, screw the exhaust. Who needs an exhaust setup? Let's just do that. Yeah. Then you get, like, a crosshair when you're driving, and it's like, aim my car, line it up, and then try to, I don't know. It looks like a crosshair, though, doesn't it? It's just the way it is. Or maybe it, uh, I don't know, it looks like a, just looks cool from the inside. It just looks cool looking at that. It's like, oh, look at that thing. And, uh, yeah, this one is, you know, decently fast. It's faster than the normal one, probably just because it has all that weight loss on it, you know? It's like, it probably weighs, like, you know, three-fourths of the weight of the normal one, so it feels faster because of that. But uh, crashing and stuff kind of boring because there's, not, there's nothing to crash, really, except the engine itself. It's like, oh. And then we're broken. So, you know, it's kind of boring to crash this one, but it's kinda, it just looks cool, doesn't it? It just looks cool. I, I wouldn't say it's like a ra I mean, uh, a derby car because there's no protection for the driver. In derbies, you'd want protection, I think. So that's the cross. We're going to go and skip a couple of vehicles because these ones are just the normal uh, everyday vehicles like base, AT, MT. The next one, though, is the detective, which is like a police car. It, well, undercover police car, I should say. You see, all it has is that little antenna and then a little light right there, right there. You see that little light? Enhance. It ex actually spins. I love the fact that it actually spins like that. And if you turn the lights on... Watch, watch this. We're going to turn the lights on, right? It lights up, too. It doesn't actually sh um, shine a light at all, unfortunately, but it does light up with the lights. Uh, only when your high beams are on, and I love that. It's just so cute, man. It's so cute. And the antenna, it does move around. So, like, you can see while we're driving, it's like, whoop, whoop. It's just swinging about. And it's like, like again, this mod is just like the other one. It has all these small details. They're just fun. Like, having the antenna just flail about like this, is just it's just funny to watch it. So, like, let's try to, like, bend the antenna right here, right? Whoa! Oh, oh, we got stuck. We gotta go a little faster. Probably gonna chop off our little light though. Oh no, we did chop it off. My little light's gone. And we are stuck, okay. We should have been a little bit faster, I think. I'm just trying to mess around with that antenna mostly. But see, our little light's gone. But look at that antenna. It, like, boing, it bounces around and. It's so realistic, man. That antenna physics is A. Plus. A plus antenna physics. I am very proud of them. Like, I just. It's just the way it's. Flop, flops about and stuff. It's just so fun. I don't know why. It's just like, I'm an antenna. Woo! It's like a, watching a dog wag his tail or something with me. But I, look at that. It's just, oh, that's so neat. But that's all this version. Uh, that's all this one really has is that light and that antenna. And uh, I guess we could go ahead and move on to the next one, which would be the... Let's see. We did detective, so it's the Coupe Supercharge. Ooh. So this one's kind of crazy. It has a bunch of things on it. Like, a bunch. Uh, one thing you'll notice is sometimes there's a problem with the front when you spawn it. I don't know if it's every time, but you see that it's just like, I'm falling apart. I didn't need you anyways. I bet if we spawned it in a lower gravity, it would fix that, but let's not worry about that. So you see, it adds a ton of things. So let's kind of just go down the list. You got the, the hood, the side uh, the side exhausts, the, the, the little spoiler wing thing. On the inside, you got a roll cage, and then you got those little pieces of plastic that go over the windows. I guess they're maybe metal. I don't know. You know what they You know what I mean? They're those things where instead of windows, you have these, like, slotted areas. And uh, it's quite a bit faster than the normal one, that's for sure. You know, the normal ones are going, Ugh. But I think it might actually be... Hey, you know what, actually? It might be close to the, the normal fast edition. So let's do a quick test on that. We'll go, woo! Bang. Poor car. Ooh, it still runs. Look at that. See? That's the thing about big old land boat things like this it'll keep driving even if it gets damaged up so we're gonna go ahead and take the stock one that's the fast version and just do a quick uh quick quick race with them and see if they're about the same speed i think they are i think the 
the V8 special is like supercharged as well, so they're pretty close on each other. So let me double check. This is the supercharged one. Or I think it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we go. So we gotta choose supercharged V8. So I think the performance is gonna be about the same between these two. Actually, that one might be a little bit slower because it has all that extra weight. But let's see. Oh, wait. Did that wrong? So we should freeze physics first. I thought I froze physics and then I'm like, wait a minute, the car's driving. So let me pull the cars up side by side. Okay. Freeze physics. Hold the gas down. Hold the ass down and let him go. So yeah, all the extra weight does make it a smidge slower, it looks like. But boy, does it look cooler. I mean, I'll tell you that right now. I would much rather be rolling around in this, you know, than the other one. Because this one looks cool. This one looks like a... I don't know, man. It just looks cool. Except for the fact that that one part always falls off. The front, like, little lip. It's just that lip just falls right off. I don't know why. Oh, little crash. So let's go ahead and kind of beat this thing up a bit so we can kind of, because this one has a lot of parts on it. So it's, it's good to kind of see how those parts react. So that hood, for example, you know, we could just go, oh, goodness, and then, oh, uh, nope, we missed the hood, didn't we? No, we got it. So the hood looks fine, even though it's all beat up. You know, right there, you can see where the, actually, where the windows would normally be, where there's that grill instead. You can see that's deforming, looks all right. And uh, one thing we should probably also do is do like a, a test of that roll cage because it has a roll cage does it make the roof stronger we should find out and I know a pretty easy way to do a test for that you know not super scientific by any means but I know a real easy test we could do but first let's keep driving it around and oh well never mind we're gonna get stuck come on flip over no it's not flipping okay so do a quick you know somewhat scientific test for the roof strength to see if the roll cage helps we'll do a quick little thing right here where all we do is we drive up to this park the car right around here right there yes then all we do is once we're settled and below the platform we hit low gravity and it'll hit it at the same speed for both vehicles so we can see does the roll cage actually help did I say low gravity I mean negative gravity sorry about that but anyways you just go boom and you see okay so that's what that one looks like then we gotta find the other one and do the same thing to it so let's just let it fall and we can see if that roll cage actually helps or not where are you going jeez you crazy car So this is just a normal, fan, or a normal faster version of the Moonhawk. Nothing too fancy. And uh, well, actually, you know what we should probably do is just crash them both at the same time. So we could do that instead. Oh goodness, that's not how it's supposed to go at all. Get off of him! Get off of him! Bad car. All right, so then we go negative Earth. Then let's see here. Oh yes, look at that. Look at the difference the roll cage made. Like this one is flat right there. And this one, the roof line held up. That is a functional roll cage. That is awesome. You know, I love it that it actually functions. You know, it does increase the strength of the roof. It doesn't just, it's not there for looks. It's there for function. That's awesome. That's just, I, I just, that means it's just like one of those things where it's like, they could have done that badly, but they didn't. They did it real nicely and I was like it's it's just such happiness you know it's like good mods make me happy man and oh we're going upside down that's okay we got a roll cage that works it'll keep us alive kind of we're upside down but we're alive because look at that look at that strength of the roof actually look at the strength of the we're actually standing on the the, the hood somehow that's interesting smoosh there we go all right so let's go ahead and uh just bounce it around see if we can flip it up right. Nah, it's not working. Let's go and just go to the next car then. So that's a pretty, that one's a pretty cool one. But these ones for the most part aren't anything too dramatic. The ones we'll get to later on are more dramatic mobs. So this one's the racing one, which actually has like racing slicks on it, I believe. And I think it's even faster than the one, I think it has a slightly faster engine than the one we just did. I'm not 100% on that, so we can do a quick check. It might not, it might or it might not, but I do know it has racing slicks on it. You see right there, front wheels are racing slicks. Rear wheels racing clicks. I know that. Question is, d what engine does this one have? We're going to find it out real quickly if I can find it. Can't find it. Oh, you could have a tow hitch on this. Why would you want a tow hitch on your race? Well, I know some real, like, drag you know, dragsters have tow hitches. Like, the ones that are the ones who um actually take their car from strip to strip. And then they'll have, like, a little trailer they use for, um like, repairs and stuff. And I know they do that. But anyways, what were we doing? Oh, we were looking at what engine there was. I totally forgot to look at what engine. Oh, you could put louvers on it? Louvers. 
Oh, it's those louvers. I was hoping for the rear louvers. They they are car louvers, aren't they? Either way, they're called louvers, not little slotty things like I called them before. Little slotty things is totally incorrect. Ooh, we could put the police antenna on it if we wanted to. So that's the neat thing about this. You could just keep adding things. Like, I want derby kickers. What is derby kickers? I don't know, but I want them. Okay, I don't even see what those were. All right, so if anybody out there knows what derby kickers are, yeah, you could tell me. Oh, hey, there's the engine. So, yeah, it has a racing engine. There we go. We finally did what I was going to do before I got really distracted and started to make this car into an abomination of sorts. Um, but yeah, that's, this is the racing edition, so you see his roll cage, lighter weight, and then I think a functional spoiler, as in that actually adds downforce. Um, but yeah, nothing uh, too different with this one. It has a front lip as well. It actually looks slightly damaged, doesn't it? It's like, that's not symmetrical, is it? Let's uh, make it a little more than slightly damaged, shall we? That's severely damaged, but even at a pretty high-speed collision... It looked like the driver was, uh, could have been a hell of a lot more squished if he was uh, in a different car. The roll cage holds up, man. That's a good roll cage. That's a roll cage. I need a roll cage in my car. Every car needs a roll cage. Uh, why would you not want a roll cage in a five-point racing harness? You feel like a race driver every time you go for a drive and you're safe. Like, what's the negative? Sure, it takes five seconds longer to buckle up and you have to wear a helmet everywhere you go, but you look, you'll look like a badass, you know? Like, look at me, my little race car, and then you like, it's a Honda Civic. Like, no, never mind. Somebody's going to do that in a Honda Civic, and it's just like, no, Honda Civic's not a race car. Stop it. I mean things that are sporty-ish. You know, something that's sporty-ish, not a Honda Civic. I mean, I mean, if it's like a Type R, maybe that'd be okay. You know, older Type Rs are pretty actually decent, but, you know, it's not going to be. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah, this is the race edition with the race slicks and stuff, man. And it only has one seat, as you see. Interior is stripped. So it is like a race car. If you had a race car of the Brockle, this would be it. It doesn't have that high of a top speed. The transmission is, I think, probably the stock uh, stock uh, transmission, actually, now that I look at it. But that's okay. It's, it's fast enough to crash into a wall at 100 miles per hour and watch the car live. Because that roll cage, look at how stiff it is. Like, if you do that with the car without the roll cage, well, if we can get it up to 100 miles per hour, you used to see the difference. I don't even know if we will get up to 100 miles per hour, but just watch the difference that roll cage makes, even for like a collision like that. It just strengthens everything so much. See, why would you not want a roll cage in your car? Every car should come with a free roll cage option, oh, and it's like a tick box you choose. It's like, do you value your life? Yes, you get a roll cage for free. You hit no, you don't get a roll cage for free. Wow, this one's actually able to get up to 100 miles per hour. Oh, it's sketchy though, because we're flying through the air at 100 miles per hour. All right, so here we go. We're going to do the same thing. Like, not super scientific here, but about 100 miles per hour. And look at that one compared to the other one. Oh, jeez, I reset it already. Okay, we'll do it again. Crash it again, crash it again. Because I'm a dummy and I reset it. I'm like, I'm going to reset it now. Why did I do that? I don't know. I didn't know I was a dummy. Okay, why are you a dummy? Yes, it's true. I like that this has a tow hitch, though. It's like, why, why did you race car with a tow hitch? Because well, I wanted a tow hitch. But no, that's a real thing. I swear to you, it's real. Look it up. There are a bunch of street legal drag racers who have tow hitches on their drag cars just so they could tow their little trailer with stuff in it. So about the same speed, roughly. And, all right, so here's the difference. Look at this one. Look at the shape of that roof line compared to this one. This one's like crunch. That one is like roll cage power, and it holds up. Roll cage is just so awesome, man. Let's just go ahead and go on to the next car, which is the Derby Edition. So, here's the derby one. It's a lot like the, um, what's it called? The, uh, cross version, but it has some body panels on it. You know, it has a, I think it might have a special front bumper that's used for ramming things. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, look at that. Look at how strong that front bumper is. Okay, here's an idea. Let's do a, a head-on collision between this one and a normal one, and you'll see the strength of the bumper. And if everything goes according to plan, the cars will line up where I'm thinking they will. If it doesn't go according to plan, I have no idea where the other car went and he disappeared on his own. I didn't know the man and he was driving it. Officer, honestly, I don't know anything. Alright, so the other car is gone. Where did it go? Oh, it is here. It worked. It is here. Awesome. It went exactly as I wanted. It's just a little slower than I expected. So we're just going to do a head and go... AI to on. And they're going to actually probably be going a bit faster because they have the V8 version. I just have the... I six, but that's okay. All right, so here it is: normal bumper versus like the derby bumper. Oh goodness, they went inside of each other. That is not good. 
not good at all. Let's go ahead and try that again. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and take the AI off, and we'll get him closer. Oops, whoops, wrong button. Sorry about that. We're gonna hit, like I said, we're going to take the AI off, and they're going to tell them to stop driving around. We're going to make them a little bit closer so the, so the collision's a bit slower, because um, that just happens sometimes. When the collision's too fast, they uh, do that. I mean, I could just do it like this, where I just ram it from here, but I like them both moving. It just makes it more... Um, makes it feel more real, you know? I mean, I don't think it really changes the crash at all by having them both moving, but it makes it feel so much realer. Okay, so that car is ready. Go ahead and say, chase me. Chase me, chase me! Alright, so this one's about a 60 probably or so, maybe 70 mi total combined speed, and oh, sheesh. Well, that was unexpected little glitchy there. Let's see. Let's get and separate the cars. Oh, I just tore off its tire from doing that. Uh, that one doesn't seem quite right. I'm gonna go ahead and try that one more time. Cause that didn't seem right, did it? I don't know. Just the car kind of exploded, you know? It's not supposed to explode. And I'm kind of second guessing the fact that this might be like reinforced. It might just be something like a radiator mounting or something like that now that I think about it, but I don't know. What are they doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna ram you. Ooh. I don't know. I think it might be like a radiator support more so than a, a reinforced bumper for ramming things. But oh uh, well. I already said it was a reinforced bumper, so we're just gonna ram things anyways. I mean, it seems like it does a pretty good job at ramming things at least. But it could just be that it does a good job because it's a big old fat moonhawk, you know? Even without being the derby version, it probably rams things pretty good. Anyways. Guess we could go ahead and go on the next one. Let's try to find out what that is real quick, though. Just because I am curious. Let's see. Radiator. Yeah, that's the radiator support I saw. See, now without the radiator support. Uh, yeah, it just looks... Uh, well, might be some sort of reinforcement still. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I, I don't want to kind of look through the parts list. Just scrolling about on camera. Like, da, 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 stop that. You know, it may have something. I mean, oh, I thought I hit no front. Uh, I thought I hit none. Okay, yeah, it was definitely just radiator supports. Okay. Well, I was wrong there. There is no reinforcement on the Derby version. My bad. I mean, the other cars just haven't had it, man. So this is a towing package. So this one's going to have the towing little, little, little tow bar. It's so cute. And you can actually see under it. You can see how it kind of connects to things. Try to zoom in even though the zoom is broken. Oh, yep, or didn't. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. You can see, you can see kind of how it connects a little bit. Uh, as far as I know, though, all it is is the tow bar with a certain engine configuration. I don't think there's anything really fancy about it aside from that. Like, um, I, like I just don't. As far as I know, there isn't. So it's just like, hey, look, there's the tow bar. And just doing a quick peek uh, through all the options, and it seems like yeah, it's just the roll bar added. So nothing too interesting. But it. We're going through the list, man. You know, unless it's a stock one. The po the taxi one's pretty cool, though. Look at the taxi one! Taxi! It has a little light and stuff. Hey, you know what we should do? We should make it make sense, so make it yellow. There we go. Not the perfect yellow for a taxi, but close enough, right? So now it looks like a taxi. As you notice, it has, a, I guess, push bars on the front and back. I guess those are called... What are those called? Are they called push bars? I don't know. Why, why are we calling those things? Why are we are just totally wrong? Those are not called that. Oh, they are called push bars in your face. I got it right. I didn't expect that. So yeah, those are push bars in the front and back. You got the taxi, the word taxi on top. You see, enhance taxi. I think the interior is for the most part the same, except the colors are different maybe. Oh, look, there's little, oh, it has little lights. Look at those little lights. It has the little lights from the, the, uh, cross one so there's double lights it's kind of funny double lights look at that guy he's just still having fun I'm doing donuts yeah, good job man I'm so proud of you uh, how do those bars hold do those bars hold up any better in a collision if you have those like would it be worth it putting those on a derby edition let's figure that out by doing the same thing we did before where we have a collision between two vehicles and hopefully it goes okay this time
and the slow-mo isn't there. Oh well. So let's see, does it help at all in such a situation? What the heck? Oops, I hit the wrong button. My finger slipped to I, which resets the car when I meant to hit J. Okay, we'll do it again. I'm sorry. Well, here. We'll reset it. I'm sorry. I missed my, my button slipped. For real. So we'll set this car way, way, way over here. Actually, not that far. That's probably good enough. Are they going to drive? Nope. Got to switch it off and on. And, okay. Which car has slow-mo? The other car has slow-mo, so I'll be the other car. Alright, so question. Will the push bars work better in a collision or not? I mean, obviously you can use it to push things probably, but let's do it for this first. Alright, let's try to not screw things up this time by hitting the right buttons instead of the wrong buttons. God damn it, AI, calm down. You don't need to hit me so many times. How's it look? Yeah, it might have held up a bit better with the the push bar there, even though it's totally not what it's meant to do at all whatsoever. You know, whoa, I have uh, just lost my um, taxi sign. I'm no longer a taxi. I'm just a car with push bars now. So let's go ahead and uh, try pushing with push bars. So, um, let's, uh, let's do this in a realistic manner. Let's say a taxi broke down and the police is there to help. So you're going to bring a police cruiser out, which is pretty much the same as the taxi one, but it has the lights and the... A little like thing on the back. Oh, it doesn't have rear push bar, but it has a little antenna on the back, which I love. But it has the lights too. The lights actually move again. You know, it's just small details. So let's try pushing with the push bars on the other vehicle with push bars because I don't actually. Would you normally do that? I think normally you would. Oh well, who cares? Look at that. We're pushing it. I don't know. When you use push bars, is it weird to have both vehicles having push bars? Because I, I know the one time I, I've actually seen those actually being used in real life. It was one without push bars and one with push bars now that I think about it. So I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So anyways, this one is like, uh, like I said, it's kind of like a mix of the detective one plus the taxi. It has the front push bars, but it got the antenna. And then it has its own fancy lights on top, which, whoa, that's not the lights button. That's L. See, lights doesn't or L doesn't always stand for lights there. If we hit the lights, you can see they do turn on, but they don't actually shine a light. They just look like they do. And, uh, yeah. It's like a police. We're going to try to just whack our antenna. Whack. Oh, poor antenna. Oh, no, the antenna's bent, I think. No, it's okay. Antenna's fine. So if you disconnect the bar, does it stop lighting up? Oh, no, the antenna looks so sad. He's like, why'd you do this to me? I bent. I'm oh, sorry, antenna. Oh, it still lights up. What is that? F minus. No, I'm just playing. It's like that's one, that's like a small detail I got overlooked. You know, it's like who cares? Just curiosity. You know, it's like I'm curious. I want to check. So that's the police one. As far as I know, again, interior is the same as the taxi one or whatever. Same stuff. The next is the ooh, the V8 supercharged sport. Did we do that one? Oh, it's sedan now. We're in the sedan ones. See, look at that. It's a four-door. That's the first four-door one I think we are doing, right? Wasn't it? I don't think we did any other sedans, right? That's the first sedan. Oh, no. The taxi was a sedan. I totally blanked on that. The derby was a sedan. The... Wow. You know, you'd think you would notice the fact that there's four doors instead of two. Nope. YBR is oblivious to everything, and apparently that's the way I am. But yeah, the last few we were doing were sedans. This car isn't normally a sedan. That's part of the mod, and I just totally overlooked it. I don't know how. I mean, it clearly says sedan right there, and I'm like, what? Wait a minute. Oh yeah, it's a sedan. Where are you going? Don't do it. Don't kill yourself. Oh, you're okay. So yeah, this one's uh basically the same as the other sport one, but it is also a sedan. And like I said, I forgot. The other ones were sedans too. I just totally blanked out. Because I'm YBR. I forget things a lot. Very easily. I'm sorry. So that's a sedan one. And the other ones were sedans too. I feel so bad for, for not noticing. You know, it's like, oh, whoopsie. I mean, yeah, a two-door taxi would be unusual, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. 
The next one's a V8 version of the Derby, which isn't too much different than the normal one, except for the fact that it is... Yeah, I'm going to pretend like I don't see this, right? See, it's just a normal sedan. No, it is not a normal sedan. It is, what do they call it? Do they call it station? Yep, they call it a station wagon, so I'm going to call it a station wagon instead of just wagon. It's a station wagon. It's got like a roll cage, and uh, it's a big old... Well, you know what? Let's do the normal station wagon first. Then we'll do the derby one. So how about... Uh, you yeah, see. We'll just do base. So let's look at just the normal station wagon first. So you see it's a modification of a modification. Kind of funny, right? It's a modification of the sedan to be... Uh, the, or the coupe to be a sedan, and then the sedan to be a station wagon. So the important thing is, how's the interior look? I can't see my children! Uh, let's get a different camera angle for that. Is there any camera angles that are kind of suitable, or are you just kind of... I will just float the camera in then. Whoop. So we got to take a peek on the inside. How's the inside look? Ooh, oh my goodness. I never actually looked at the inside, but look at that. It has that awesome, like, seat. Ooh, here. It has the awesome seats where you point the opposite direction. I think the, like, the Tesla, uh, something has that too, I think. Feel free to say, no, YBR does not, you crazy idiot. I think it does, but it might not. So let's see, I want to just pop off the back, uh, real quick. And then you'll be able to see it, hopefully. Also, if anybody knows what derby kickers are, feel free to tell me. I don't know what derby kickers are, unfortunately. <laughs> I admit it. So, oh, look right there, you can see the seats glowing. So you can see them right there, nice and clear, that they glow, they are pointed that direction. So maybe I don't need to take off the back. I just wanted you to be able to see that. That's cool. Oh, I like cars to do that. It's neat. So that's the station wagon. I guess the most important thing with this one is how strong is it? Is it structurally sound when you flip it over or something like that? Well, let's find out, because I haven't actually tested that yet. I like the glass, by the way. It's like it's like it's curved glass. So crazy and high-tech. Curved glass, man. I'm not saying that like it's not really possible. It's just it's, it's just you know, it looks neat having curved glass. We can't roll it over, sir. I don't know why we can't drive. You just can't roll a car over. Yep, can't roll a single car over. Like, you know, I'm always good at doing that when I don't want to. There we go. Structurally sound. Why we are approved. Would you buy this car though? No, I don't need a big old station wagon. Trying to flip it. It's good to go. So yeah, it seems structurally sound. Uh, look at the way that thing came off. It's like, whoop, whoop. I'm, by the way, I'm the one swinging it back and forth like that. Oh, now it's stuck. Children, stop crying. Just because uh, the back tailgate part is smacking your legs in doesn't mean you can com complain. Okay, children? Just let, let me drive my little station wagon as much as I want. And then the children fall out of the station wagon because this was designed where seatbelts were not exactly needed. They were just, in, you know, and then children are gone. And then the dad is sad, so then he tries to commit suicide. The end. What a depressing story. I made a really depressing story. It's not what I want to do. I don't want to make depressing stories. I want to make happy stories. And then they all lived happily ever after. Somehow. The end. Too bad there's no button to actually open that up. We could do a break all break group so you can see it come off like woo! So you see it comes off right there. And uh, oh, yeah, you can see inside now. I know I didn't do any break all break groups on anything else, but this one has like everything we've seen so far, right? So it's like if the doors fall off, the back falls off, everything falls off. Car is no longer a car. Car is just a frame of a car with an engine and stuff. Alright, so let's now let's backtrack to the derby one. Which is this one, plus the roll cage, plus the engine ex the engine exhaust has been moved to be not here anymore. It's gone. See? And, um, this one actually has a, a bumper on it where the other derby one didn't, I think. Kind of interesting. Here's the inside. You can see the roll cage is rolled up. Children in the back, they don't get the roll cage. So, if you put the children you love... Well, actually, there is no seats in this thing anymore, is there? No, it's just a big old box of nothing. I was going to say, you put the children you love inside the roll case. The ones you don't like, you put outside of it. But there's no seats, so you can't do that anyways. Anyways, it is a very sturdy vehicle with the roll cage. As you see, where the driver actually is holds up very well. Uh, if you're ever in a destruction derby and you hit something that fast, though, that's kind of insane. And I wouldn't expect any car to really function well after that. Whoa, 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 that sounded weird. I don't know. I don't know what that was. It sounded weird, though. All right, so let's keep moving on. We're going to look at the family wagon. We'll give it a color. Everything's kind of dull, so let's get some color in here. How about, like, a kind of... There, that looks like a weird color for a car. 
Oh, that actually looks like a very normal color for like an old person car. So this one is like the base one, but it has the roof rack, I believe. And, uh, oh, it also has a uh, tow hook. And uh, it's hard to keep track. Like, you see, as I'm getting down the list, I'm like, uh... Because I knew the first few, and then it's just like my memory is gone by the time I get to these ones. Interior is, you know, mostly the same, as far as I know. I didn't actually, I never actually looked closely. But as far as I know, they're the same. They've got those awesome square gauges, you know. Uh, but nothing, nothing, like, too fancy about this one. It's just like a, a slightly tweaked version of the base model. So, you can go ahead and go to the no textures and say hello. And break the car. And we'll move on to the next one, because we did quite a bit with it already. So this one is the same thing, but look, it has a surfboard on top. Look at that. Let's give it a color. I'm, just, I'm getting sick of white cars, so it's like, I want to color them. I don't care what color, I just don't want white. There we go. The surfboard will fall off real easily if you try to do anything crazy. Like, if you go over a jump and land too hard, the surfboard's falling off. At least that's what it did for me before. I went over a jump, it's like, my surfboard! It's like, no! My surfboard! I'm so sad, I can't go surfing no more. It's like, whoop! Big jump, that's a big jump. Oh, and the surfboard holds on now, making me look like a liar, I see, huh? Huh? You can make me look like a liar? I'll make sure I don't look like a liar. I'll keep jumping until it falls off. I'll prove to you that I was telling the truth. There we go. Obviously, that was a pretty big jump, but that's okay. So that's all it is. It's just a surfboard edition. The next one is the... Fire department wagon. Oh my goodness, I don't even remember this one. I don't remember this one. Oh, look at that. It's like a police car. But, ah, I don't want another white car. It says fire department. We're making it red. Like I said, I'm just on board of white cars right now. So everything's been white. We need color. There we go. That's what's up. Color. How pretty color is. So this one is basically, instead of a surfboard, you got a a uh, police thing on top. We could do a crash right here, you know. Fire, fire, fire! Wait, wrong turn! This is just the wall! And the fire department made a mistake. Poor fire department. And the last one is the sports wagon. Which is just, you know, a fast version of the wagon, really. And if you really wanted to, actually, you could go and tweak it even further, you know, you could be like, I don't want just a sport wagon, you know, a sport wagon's nice and all, but what if you had something like a, a race wagon, so you say you get the racing edition, and you could put racing slicks on it now, too, I think it doesn't, yeah, see, it has slotted mags, no, I want racing slicks, on the front and back, of course. You can make any combination of the parts you've seen, pretty much. You know, there are certain ones where you can't have them both, but... Oh, look at that. There's a chrome stripping that only some of them had. I didn't notice that. The cowl hood. That's what they call it. Welded derby hood. So, oh, it's actually welded on now, if you do that one. Interesting. Never noticed that. Toe hitch on. I like the, the cowl hood better. Put the front bumper back on. We're just going to put everything on it. Police rear hubcaps? Yep. Oh, goodness. No police rear hubcaps. So, I'll, it's a floating car now. All right, let's just drive the float float mobile around a bit. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't drive the Sport Edition because nothing too interesting about that one compared to everything else. But, um, yeah, that'll, um, that'll about do it for the uh, super... I don't know exactly what to call it. It's just like the super... Moonhawk mod that gives you all kinds of crazy things to do with the Moonhawk. And, um... Until next time, man. This has been YBR. Now we got a floating ghost car. Back to the future or something like that, right? At least on the back. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll see you then.